Oh my god, it is finally happening, everybody. We have a date. The new war is coming out on the 15th of December. Now, I would highly recommend you go and check out the official trailer that just dropped on their official YouTube channel. I will link that in the video description down below because it's just... Mwah. Chef's kiss. And my chef's kiss actually carries far more value than your regular everyday chef's kiss because I used to be a chef, so I've been authorized by the president to give out official chef's kisses. And it is just that. Mwah. Fantastic. So, I'm actually really excited for the new war. I'm somewhat reserved because it's been too long since it's been announced. I don't even know how long it's been floating around, but it's been a very long time. Uh, but I'm still really excited. Even though I'm trying to be reserved, I'm still really excited because it looks really cool from what we've seen so far. Now, I will probably take it easy when it comes to content creation until New War comes out because I feel like once it does come out, it's gonna be like at least a month of just non-stop content creation, depending on how big the update actually is. But usually for these big updates, it's about a month of just non-stop content creation that I can sort of slow down a little bit and become a human being again. And I really don't want to burn myself out before I'm able to properly cover it because this is what I enjoy the most about creating YouTube content. When a new big update comes out and there's just a ton of stuff to cover and I'm chugging through it and it, it's great it's stressful but like a good kind of stressful I actually thought about pausing the Warframe Open Encyclopedia as well as the Warframe reviews for these next two weeks and instead focus on like my favorite weapons my favorite weapon builds my favorite frames frame setups and general setups you know combinations of Warframes and weapons and that kind of stuff because I've been doing these for quite a while now especially the Warframe Open Encyclopedia I've been doing that for almost a year now so I would like to take a short break from that and focus on something else for a little bit and I think this is the perfect time to do it because you know I can show you some fun setups that you can maybe try and see if you like them before the new war comes out. Now the reason I'm making this video is mostly as a reminder to those of you that haven't done all the story quests yet because before you jump into the new war you need to finish Nata, The Second Dream, The War Within, Chains of Harrow, Apostasy Prologue, The Sacrifice, Chimera Prologue, The Era Quest, The Maker, Rising Tide and the Heart of Deimos stuff. Plus, it's of course highly recommended that you have some solid gear, and that's not just a frame and a weapon, you will need a railjack and a necromec as well. So if you hop over into the description, there are gonna be three links there, most likely, there might be more. I think three are fine, so one is gonna take you to the New War trailer, one is gonna take you to a Necromech build that I did, which is like a maxed out Necromech, so if you want to go ham with the preparations, you can try that out. And the final one is gonna take you to a Railjack build that I did. And that's pretty much all I want to say. I'm just really excited and I want you to remind you that there's some stuff you need to do before you can jump into the new war. So I thank you very much for watching as always, guys. And I'll see you some other time. Bye-bye.